Hello everyone, my name is Yu Zhang. So today I will talk about transport properties of non-reciprocal one-dimensional quantum channels at the lens aluminum oxide and strong titanium oxide interface. To begin with, I would like to thank my group and especially my advisor Jeremy Levy and Patrick Irwin. So recently, quantum simulation become more and more popular and uh, especially the one-dimensional electron systems has occurred some interesting and exotic phases of quantum matters. So in our group, we focus on the LAO STO error interface and uh, we wrote some webguide at this interface and it exhibits some remarkable one-dimensional properties. These are some properties said here especially the superconductivity without electron pairing. But this system still lacks the strong spin optical interactions. So next we would like to find some new and uh, more interesting nanostructures. The exhibit here, we use the atomic force microscope. So we would like to use this AFM to write some main channels and uh, also some barriers by adding positive or negative voltage and also it could be tuned by a side gate and uh, then when we cool it down to a low temperature such as 20 or 50 millikelvin it, it will exhibit some interesting phenomena such as the quantized, quantized the conductance, the unit is the square of H, and uh, also uh, th this is uh, some representative wave function we would uh, use here. And uh, also, uh, so for the structure, we would like to get some new modes such as vertical and lateral and also much more so here we do some modulation we name them as lateral or vertical or helical so firstly so the lateral means it will be uh, tracing spatially and uh, with a uh, sinusoidal pass with the AFM tip moving in that space and for the vertical we change the voltage of the tip to get this vertical modulation and uh, when the final step we want to get the helical modulation it's just we combine these two steps and uh, it could show some non-reciprocal properties so here are some conductance figures and transconduct figures for so for the lateral modulation we could see there there is the quantized conductance already showed here but some interesting things is here you could see a dropping plateaus under one e square of h plateau this is an interesting phenomena uh, which is uh, described in this figure by our senior students and uh, for the vertical modulation, we also find some interesting phenomena. We can see there's some fluctuation right here, and uh, when we correlate it to the transconduct figures, we could see it shows some fractured stub bands. This is also very abnormal, and. Uh, 
by comparing the transcanal figures, we could see there are some differences with the normal straight wave guide. So next, we would like to talk especially about the helical modulation. To begin with this part, we like to talk about the chiral induced spin selectivity effect. This effect was found in biology. Uh, it uh, just uh, described that ele the electrons could generate a magnetic field when it is uh, um, transported in a path that is a chiral on or just non-reciprocal and uh, then this will induce the, an effect this effect is attributed to spin of covering and uh, it leads to the reduction of the last back scattering so it could help the uh, it could increase the conductance so we would like to find if this is also could do something special or uh, to specifically to introduce some new phenomena in our conductance or transconductor figures so we write this helical waveguide and uh, from this experiment, we found that the conductance <coughs> figures show some overshootings, and uh, also when the magnetic field is increased, we can see from here to here the magnetic field is increased, and uh, the number of oscillation also increased. Then we also Look to the transcanal figures. We could see it shows higher pairing transport properties. You can see for the no modulation part wave guide, it only got to nine or ten nine uh, te Tesla, but uh, for here. It got a higher pairing field. Only when it got to about 15 or 16, it will be paired. And uh, they are all attributed to the engineered Excel spin auto interaction. And uh, for the future, we would like to do some research about another non-reciprocal waveguide. So in this waveguide, we would like to combine sine wave and two invert quarter arcs. They will combine to form a non-reciprocal waveguide unit. And when we repeat it, it will become a new non-reciprocal waveguide. And uh, so, in summary, in this experiments, we're developing a platform that we could write some nanowires. And uh, by research on these nanostructures, we could see the quantized ballistic transport properties and also the engineer spin out interaction. So we think this could be a building block for some more complex quantum simulation. We would like to go further to do more. Yeah. So that's all. Thank you.